Welcome to the Trend Micro Deep Security 10 for Administrators video series. This collection of videos provides an overview of tasks that may be required as part of your work as an administrator in Deep Security Manager. The Deep Security Integrity Monitoring Protection Module detects changes to critical files and system areas that could indicate suspicious activity. In this video lesson, we will enable and configure the Integrity Monitoring Protection Module to monitor the system for changes to a baseline configuration. The Integrity Monitoring Protection Module detects changes by comparing the current condition of the protected server to a baseline reading it has recorded previously. When changes occur to the system area, the Deep Security Agent will detect the changes and upload the details of the change to the Deep Security Manager on the next heartbeat. If alerts have been configured, an alert can be generated and sent to an administrator to advise you of the change. The Integrity Monitoring Protection Module can monitor system objects including files, folders, registry entries, processes, services, and listening ports. When the Integrity Monitoring Protection Module is enabled, a baseline configuration of the system will be generated and the objects that have been identified with appropriate rules will be monitored. The Deep Security Agent will compare the current condition of the monitored objects with the baseline, which indicates the original secure status of these objects. Any changes that are detected for these monitored objects will be forwarded to the Deep Security Manager for display in events. It is important to note that Integrity Monitoring will detect any changes that occur to an object, but it lacks the ability to distinguish between legitimate and malicious changes. As well, the Protection Module will not be able to prevent or undo these changes. Like other protection modules in Deep Security, the Integrity Monitoring Protection Module uses rules to monitor selected objects. One way to determine which rules would be appropriate for your system is to run a recommendation scan. It is important to note that when you run a recommendation scan on a protected server, it will identify all of the objects that could potentially be monitored. If you automatically apply these rules, you could end up with a large number of monitored entities and attributes, which may generate a large amount of event information. It is important to decide what information is going to be critical and which information you'll have the ability to monitor on a regular basis. If the default rules do not provide the necessary details, you could create custom rules or tune the predefined rules for your own requirements. Let's go into the Deep Security Manager web console and take a look at how we can run a recommendation scan for integrity monitoring. I've logged into the Deep Security Manager web console as an administrator, click the Policies menu, and under Common Objects Rules, under Integrity Monitoring Rules, you'll see the list of rules that are available by default in Deep Security. These rules are created by the engineering team at Trend Micro and reflect the most common objects that can be monitored using the protection module. Running a recommendation scan will help you identify which of these rules are appropriate for your system. Click the Computers menu and double-click on one of your computers to bring up the details. Click the Integrity Monitoring Protection Module in the left-hand frame and scroll down and under Assigned Integrity Monitoring Rules, notice that there are currently no rules that are assigned. Under Recommendations, there are no recommendation scan results, which means a recommendation scan has not been run yet. We have the option to automatically implement the integrity monitoring rule recommendations. But in this case, we're going to leave it to no because we don't want to generate a large number of event details. We're going to select which items we're going to monitor by manually selecting the rules. Click scan for recommendations and the recommendation scan will be processed. I'm going to close the details 
and notice that the recommendation scan is being run on one computer and the details of the scan are also identified under the task column. It'll just take a few moments for the scan to complete. The recommendation scan is complete. Double click on the computer to bring up the details. Click the integrity monitoring protection module. Scroll down to the assigned integrity monitoring rules section and click assign unassign. And from the filtering list here, select recommended for assignment. And this will display all of the rules that have been suggested based on the objects on the system that we scanned. For example, we can monitor changes to system directory attributes, to the host files, to startup programs, to system configuration files, and so forth. To enable any of these rules, all you have to do is click to select them, and then click OK. To enable the protection module, in this case, we're going to enable the protection module for a computer. Let's turn the configuration on and then we can select which type of scanning we want to do. When the integrity monitoring configuration is turned on, you can enable real-time scanning. When this object is selected, Deep Security monitors the entities for changes in real-time and raises integrity monitoring events when it detects changes. Events will be forwarded to the Deep Security Manager during the next heartbeat operation. Alternately, you can also do a manual scan, and this is an on-demand scan. You can also schedule an integrity monitoring scan as a scheduled task. On the administration menu, under scheduled tasks, click new, and under the type, you can select the option to scan for integrity changes and then identify when you want the scan to occur. In this case, the scan will automatically trigger at the interval that you've designated in this wizard. Let's do an example where we're going to monitor an object on a protected computer. I've switched over to one of my protected servers and in the root of the C drive, I created a text file called integrity monitoring test.txt. This file contains some content and what we're going to do is we're going to create a rule to monitor this particular file for any changes. So let's return to the Deep Security Manager web console and create the necessary rule. So back in the Deep Security Manager web console, let's click the Policies menu. And in the left-hand pane, click Policies. I have a policy that I'm going to use for this example called Classroom. So double-click the policy to bring up the details. In the left-hand frame, select Integrity Monitoring. And we're going to set the state for Integrity Monitoring to On. Notice that it's currently set to off, and this is inherited from its parent policy, which is the base policy. And we're going to do some real-time scanning on this machine. So let's click Save. We're going to create a new rule. So click Assign, Unassign. Click New and let's create a new integrity monitoring rule. I'm going to create a rule called IM file test and I've put a number at the front of the name of the rule which will allow it to appear at the top of the list so it'll simplify the locating of this rule later on. On the content tab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify what it is that we're going to be monitoring. So in this case, it's going to be a file. The file is located in the root of the C drive and the file is called imtest.txt. You can monitor multiple files, but you need to put each file name on a separate line within the file names dialog box. Let's click OK. 
and let's take a look at the assigned rules. And currently we only have the one rule assigned in this policy, which is our IM file test rule. Let's click OK and close. And let's apply this rule to our protected computer. Back in the computer list, double click on the client one computer, which is the computer hosting the protected object. And let's switch our policy to the classroom policy. Note that since we've added the policy to this client, some of the different protection modules that are enabled through the policy are being installed on the client one computer. So the policy is being sent to the client one computer and you'll notice the baseline for this computer is being built. It'll just take a moment for the baseline to be created and the policy to be applied to the computer. The task column is cleared. Let's click on the preview for client one and you'll notice that the integrity monitoring protection module is turned on. We're doing real time scanning and we have one rule in place. So let's return to our protected computer and attempt to make a change to the protected object. I'm back on the client one computer. Let's access our test file and make some changes. So I'm just going to add one word to the file and save the change. And let's return to the Deep Security Manager web console and see if the protection module has captured that change. I'm back in the Deep Security Manager web console. Let's double click on the client one computer to bring up the details. Click on integrity monitoring and integrity monitoring events. Note that we have an event related to our rule being triggered. Double click on the event to bring up the details. Note that this event took place on the client one computer. We triggered the integrity monitoring file test rule. And at the bottom here, we can see the hash values that were modified. The old hash value for the file is listed here and the new hash value is listed here. And because they're both different, we know that the file has been modified. To help identify integrity monitoring events and other events that take place in deep security, tags can be assigned to the event details. A tag is an attribute that is applied to an event that will help simplify the management and monitoring of these events. For example, you can sort, you can group, you can print reports and do other activities based on the tags that are assigned to these different events. Now note the tag does not actually alter the data in the event. It's a piece of metadata that's assigned to the event details. You can tag these events manually or use the automatic tagging capabilities to assign tags to similar events. Returning to the Integrity Monitoring Events tab within Deep Security Manager Web Console, I have the details for this particular event displayed on screen. What I'll do is I'll right mouse click on it and add a tag. I'm going to create a new tag, so I'll click plus and I'll call this tag demonstration. In this case, we're going to apply the tag manually to this particular event. So I've selected apply the tag to the selected integrity monitoring event. I can add some comments to help identify what this tag reflects. In this case, it's an event that's generated as part of the video demonstration. Click finish and now the tag has been assigned to this particular event. So if another administrator is looking through the list of events that have occurred on this particular machine or for the system, they will notice the tag and they will understand that this particular event is benign because it was created as part of my video demonstration. You can also automatically tag other entries. For example, let me return to add tags 
and let's create another tag. For example, I'm going to create this tag as to review and I'm going to apply it to the selected event and events that are similar to this. First thing you're going to do with your auto tagging is identify the computers to which this tagging rule is going to apply. So I'm going to say that this is going to apply to all computers in deep security. The next thing I need to do is select the element of similarity to apply these automatic tags. So let's say I want the similarity to be the same reason, the same severity, and the same type. So any events that take place that have a similar reason, severity, and type will be assigned the same tag. I have the ability to go through the database and take a look at all of my event information and apply this tag to the existing events. And I can also say that I want to assign this tag to any events going forward. And now any events that match the same criteria as the selected event will now automatically have the tag assigned. So in this case, we assigned the to review tag to this particular event and any events that are similar to this will have the same tag. This concludes the Detecting Changes on Protected Servers lesson as part of the Trend Micro Deep Security 10 for Administrators video series.